How is Grendel different from the monster from Beowulf? In Beowulf, they show Grendel as a terrifying monster. He seems heartless, evil, and ruthless. Also, in Beowulf, they show it from a, from a perspective of a hero, and it is in a earlier time period, the Anglo-Saxon time period. In Grendel, they show him as a teenager complaining about life. He also shows the perspective of a monster, and it's more in the 1970s. And also in Grendel, it shows that the ram isn't even scared of him. He threw a stone at him, and he wouldn't even budge. Also in Grendel, they show him as more human-like than they did in Beowulf. And this is because of the different perspectives of the monster. Why does Grendel talk so bad about his mother throughout the story? Grendel acts like the typical teen. He is sassy and does what he wants. Also, I think Grendel uh, mostly feels pity for his mom, but he tries to cover it up with frustration and anger. He, um, neither one of them can understand each other, so he doesn't really know if his mother loves him or not. And he tries to talk to her, but he can never fully understand her, and she can never fully understand him. However, when Grendel does get into trouble, he does always call for his mother, and his mother is always there for him. His mother is basically his protector in the world. After Grendel speaks with the dragon, who, who could you say is more hypocritical, man or Grendel? During the time in which Grendel hadn't spoken to the dragon yet, Grendel had despised man for its nature of pride and aggression. Then Grendel changes into that very thing and at one point even laughs at how he can be so brutal without consequence. And then there's man. As man has actually bent the truth in... At some point, even mocked and killed one another which somehow formed into alliances where they did not. The superior laugh, <laughs> is given in effect by Grendel, specifically to those he sees as superior. Why is that? It can be simply implied that he sees them as superior, though Grendel himself seems to distance them from him. When they are given that laugh, more specifically speaking, he may actually revere these people for their skills and possessions as they themselves take their job seriously. The gold worker in making weapons decorated, and the dragon guarding his treasure. 